Hello. In this video, I thought I'd do a bit of a talk through about the 51 drill and how important it is. Uh, it's got 12 key shots included in this exercise, which I think are really, really important, especially when you're playing in a match or practicing against some other kind of players, some practice partners, or even in a match itself. It's really important because there are 12 key shots included in this, which are all vital parts of the game which you need to master so let's start with shot one shot one is the long red now this shot is a really important shot to master because it's quite a difficult shot to be able to maintain position as well so you're playing the long red into the corner pocket hoping to get position on the black it's usually a screw shot to stun shot to hold the white for the black. Shot two is the black to red shot, which is usually a stun shot, which takes you up to position for the red that's beneath the pink. A really important shot again, because it's getting you used to playing stun shots in and around the black and pink area. Really important shot that is to master. Uh, again, another part of the game, which is used quite frequently and needs to be mastered so that's shot number two shot number three is the second red of the three and that again is played with the intention to get back on the black again um, depending on the position that you've obtained from the black would dictate what kind of a shot this red would be it might be a, another stun shot or it might be a top spin shot or just a plain roll shot either way it's another important part of the game to master and it would then give you position on the following black and then shot four is again the black to the last red uh, again it depends where the cue ball lands on this particular shot to get onto the last red but what you must make sure that you do is leave a good angle on the red that's on the cushion to get back up for the final black before you attempt the colours. So again, a really important shot to master. And should you get position on the last red from the black, then this brings us up to another key shot in, in any kind of game, which is the last red and it's a cushion shot. So to play this cushion shot, you need to play with enough pace to get back off the cushion again to get back onto the black and attempt to get back up to the yellow to start the colour clearance. So this is a really important shot again and would need to be executed correctly to get back onto the black. So that's shot five. And shot six is the final black to the yellow. So you've left a good positional area for the black and you need to now stun up the table or play a top spin shot up to the table to get back onto the yellow to begin the colour clearance which are the last six shots of this exercise so we play the black up to the yellow which again is another key shot to get position from the black to yellow happens more or less every time in a frame more often than not so it's also a good exercise to master one shot in particular the black to yellow now moving on to the yellow shot I've covered this in a previous video with the color clearances and again another really important shot this one the yellow to get position on the green now if you haven't seen that video then I'll leave a link in the description about the color clearances but like I said before this is included in this exercise and it's a really important exercise to to do in practice sessions because it just sharpens your game so you've got the yellow to, to green shot which obviously we we want to get position f to the green for the brown so it's kind of three shots in front you need to be three shots in front not all the time but the majority of the time you need to be thinking that far ahead so you play good position on the green from the yellow so that's shot seven i believe now 
Shot eight is the green. So again, you need good position from the green to the brown to get to the blue. So it's another three shot routine. You need to have that thought process. So you're playing the green onto the brown. And then you play the brown to the blue, the blue to the pink, and the pink to the final black. This exercise is just a really useful thing to do because it's got so many aspects to it. Like I said, there are 12 key shots and should you struggle with any of those shots, then it's not gonna to be too time consuming to master them individually. So if you do miss a shot, just set that shot back up again and start again until you're confident enough that you can move on to the next stage. And I mean, you could spend hours and hours doing this one particular exercise and it wouldn't seem as laborious as anything else, like say, for instance, the lineup drill, which does take a lot of time and a lot of dedication to master. But leading up to that stage and that level of your ability, this is a very, very good stepping stone towards that goal. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope to get more videos posted soon when I'm allowed back into the club and film. But for the meantime, I'm just going to have to just do a few more tutorials such as this one just to explain a few videos that I've already uploaded. Okay, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye.